Catherine Jones has made a name for herself as a lifestyle blogger and a popular one at that, an actor and a model. I'm sure you've seen her on publications all over. But she's shared her talents right here on Great Day Live as well. Recently, though, she shared another side that's garnered much attention. And Catherine, I was strolling through Facebook when all of a sudden I saw these amazing pet portraits and about fell out of my chair when I realized this is you. And I only say that because you already have so many different talents in so many ways, but your pet portraits, I mean, absolutely stunning. Where did this come from? Well, thank you so much, Angie. <laughs> your words are so kind. Um, honestly, uh, I was an artist from the moment that I could pick up a pencil um, as a child. And so I pursued those arts and uh, in every medium um, through all my schooling. I even uh, pursued a fine art degree at the University of Louisville. And um, I just suffered a really terrible burnout in my uh, mid-20s, just uh, finding jobs and and everything. And so I just ended up putting those skills behind me and pursuing other ones. And it wasn't until COVID hit. Um, and then we were all forced to uh, sit still with ourselves for a while and really reflect. Um, art is so therapeutic. And I had really forgotten what an amazing therapy it is and, and how it can calm um, your anxiety. And so I picked back up the paintbrushes and um, I started painting animals, which was, is, was my favorite subject matter um, over 15 years ago. So let's talk about the animal that's at your house. <laughs> Jenny, my, my little Maltese furball, Jenny. <laughs> she is my studio manager. She oversees all of my projects. Now, Catherine, with your pet portraits, I mean, you look at one of them, and I mean, you can really start to see that personality. So, well, what's the personality of Jenny? Because, I mean, I, I can understand why you're calling her your studio manager. Oh, she she is such a darling, honestly. Um, every day, I feel like I don't deserve I don't deserve her. I feel like the world doesn't deserve dogs because they're such <laughs> such good-hearted creatures. Um, but she, she, I've got her little portrait right here. She's, oh, <laughs> and that's her. She has a little smile, <laughs> and she does look like a stuffed animal. But um, she, she's right there in my lap every moment. She just wants to be next to Mama. So when you, I mean, you know Jenny, you know her inside and out. But when it comes to a stranger who wants their their pet portrait, a portrait mm -hmm. of their pet. What is that process? How do you take your artistic abilities and really bring out that personality on the canvas? It's been such an interesting process because um, whenever I get the information from the owner of a pet, they tell me a little bit about them, um, but I can really start to see their personalities um, in their eyes. And as I'm sitting there, working on them for eight to 10 hours, just really memorizing the characteristics and the details of this animal. I start to get a feel of their personality and of their energy. And um, I feel like I really get to know them so well. Um, even, even animals that have passed um, and their owners are wanting to uh, have a painting done as a memorial. Um, I love those, I love those jobs. And I love getting to know the animal even just, just through that connection. One of the best gifts that I've ever been given when a dear, dear animal that was in my life had passed was a portrait of him. That was Big Bud. And how often are you are you getting requests from people who say, I want to I wanted to give this gift to someone? Because I mean, what absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, a lot of my first pieces have been gifts. Um that people have wanted to give to their friends for an animal that had passed or, or a friend that's just going through a hard time, um, something just to make them smile when they see it because it's really, it's hard to not smile. Okay, so speaking of smiling, what is the, let's call them most interesting pet to, that you've ever painted? Right now, I'm in the process of working on a parakeet. Um, I also have a request for a chicken, a pet chicken. 
<laughs> Which oh, is just it's the chicken. cutest chicken. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Somebody who really loves their chicken. And um, and then honestly, there's a picture. I love it when people send really fun pictures of a dog like with their tongue hanging out and they want that for you know preserved and, and made into a piece of art. I love, I love a good fun picture of a dog. Um, I have a golden retriever coming up that I'm gonna do soon. That tongue is as big as his head, and I'm just so excited. <laughs> to paint his goofy face you said i mean each portrait takes about eight to ten hours it does it does i'm doing um stretched canvas eight by tens i'm trying to work fairly small um not not huge but just something that i can really really manage and and then it's kind of fun because they're collectible in that size you can get many done and they kind of create a nice collage on the wall Absolutely. Now, Catherine, like I'd said earlier, I mean, you are a, I mean, a much sought after model and actress. I mean, people have seen your face on billboards and magazine covers and all kinds of different things. But you also have a very popular and not just locally, for sure. I mean, it's national, if not international, the Southern Gloss, uh, your, your blog on um, the Internet. How does all or how do all of those different aspects of your life meld together into, I mean, fine art and, and being artistic in this way, because you really are. If someone's ever seen what you do and how, how you curate your blog, your social media, I mean, it's very artistic as well. So how do they work hand in hand? I think as, as just a creative, just naturally born as just a creative person, I have so many facets to myself that need satisfying. So I have so many, um, goals and desires. And, and, and I love so many different angles of, of things, basically any area of life that I can design or create. Um, I want to do it, you know, it, it, it's, it's something I want to do in life. So I, I love fashion. I love acting. And there's, there's not much I don't have a passion for. And um, that it's, it's, it's something I love, but it's also makes it makes everything a bit of a struggle too, to to compartmentalize all of those things. But it's still fun. I mean, if, if anything, life is never dull. That, isn't that the truth? Now, we also know this. COVID-19 hasn't gone away. It doesn't look like it's going away anytime soon. Mm -hmm. This is a really uneasy time. Lots of people yes. are, you know, talking about how anxiety and stress, I mean, it's exacerbated for so many. It's hard, mm -hmm. hard pressed to find somebody who just says, you know, this is a chill time. It, it, it's yeah. it'd be very difficult to manage, but at the same time, we keep finding over and over again these amazing stories and even just it's the little things that matter. I mean, it, it struck me today as I took my child to camp where there's social distancing, but I took yes. her to camp and I wouldn't be able to do that if we weren't in this time. And so looking at these blessings. So mm -hmm. for you, in addition to pulling out the paintbrushes and the paint again, what has been the biggest blessing that's occurred in your life over what has perhaps been the most challenging, collectively speaking, months of mm -hmm. our generations? I think really uh, finding a solid place of gratitude within myself um, has has gotten me through so much of this. And of course, um, pulling out the paintbrushes and, and really um, and doing an art that's therapeutic, um, our mental health. I, I couldn't put um, a bigger emphasis on mental health right now um, for people of all ages, especially children too. So I feel like if any, if art's extremely important for anyone, it's especially important for the kids. Absolutely. Well, Catherine, thanks for taking the time. And I hear you have a new venture coming up. So we're going to invite you back soon. Hopefully you'll spill the Exciting. milk. Thank you. Through. Well, before we go, I have I have someone that might that you might want to see. He's an, he's an old friend. Oh, yeah, you might recognize him. Oh, Catherine. <laughs> oh my. Oh, oh my. Oh, I'm. <laughs> oh. I'm to say hi. <laughs> for those of you who don't know, and forgive me, <laughs> that is Zeke. Um who rolled me down the aisle. He's the sweetest soul. And I loved getting to know him doing this painting. Oh, Catherine. Oh my goodness. <laughs> You're going to make me cry. Zeke um, rolled me down the aisle when I met 
um, when I married my husband and Zeke was an abuse case and um, I had the good fortune of having him in my life. And uh, Zeke used a wheelchair. He was paralyzed from the waist down and um, was the most magical dog I've ever met. And he died three months after I was married, ate breakfast and just just died in the way that you would want someone you love. <sighs> oh, thank you. Oh. He, thank I you. loved following your journey with him. I absolutely loved following your journey with him. So that is him. I, I had to, I had to do this. <laughs> oh, Catherine, that, that is Zeke. Well, oh. <laughs> virtual hug. Oh. <laughs> virtual hugs. Thank you. You can connect. It was a joy. It was a joy. Thank you so much. You can connect with Catherine via her website, katherinejonesart.com. And as I always tell Olive, my daughter, these are happy tears. Happy tears.